Hey, um, today I'm going to teach you how to make um, traditional Cambodian fish amok, which is the um, curry fish, basically, and it's really good. Um, you can use um, all kinds of white fish and then fillet of fish and stuff, but sometimes I do salmon and it tastes really good also. So today I'm just um, want to teach you step by step how to do this, and I'm going to go through all the ingredients that I have. Um, you will need one egg, and you will need some sugar right here, and coconut milk, and this one we call rhizome root. It uh, it's just uh, like a langol and ginger. It it's part of those family, but it come in a jar. And this is what it look like. It just look like finger. I call it some finger sometimes, a finger root. That that's a lot of people was calling that. Yeah. So um, it's it the recipes for this that that's what we use and. I don't have the rye leaf, it's the one that we have in Cambodian, but in here I just use a Chinese broccoli here uh, to mix up with all the ingredients that I have here. So um, let's go through that, and I have two cups of fish here. I will put the recipes up on the, uh, underneath my video when I'm done, so um, let's, let's mix them all up together. It's very easy, you mix everything together, and then um, you steam it, that's what this uh, curry fish curry is about. And in here I have a half a cup of make, uh, lemongrass paste. Uh, in here we have a stalk of white lemongrass and we have, um, I have uh, this rhizome root here, I have some lime leaf and I have turmeric color in here. That's, that's why it makes it yellow. So I need, you need a half a cup of lemongrass paste total and so I'm going to put all the, uh, the recipes there on my, my food there. Um, so let's go ahead and mix it. So this is a uh, you can use tilapia, you can use any white fish for this, for the fish fillet. And it, it makes sure it's firm enough because when you steam it, sometimes the fish is uh, melted. So I cut about, it's about big as that chunk there for the fish. So I'm going to go ahead and mix them all together in here. And then after I mix it, then I will put in all of this bowl right here and then we steam it up. So I'm going to go ahead and use, um, put this whole lemongrass, the half, half a cup here. It, by the way, it is two cup of fish here. Um, when you slide it, it's, it's about two cup of them. So, and then I'm going to put, mix them all up. And then I will put the coconut meal right here. So I might use half a can of coconut meal in this recipe. So you have to stir it because Often coconut milk, the cream will stay on the top and then uh, the thin liquid is down the bottom. So you have to stir it really well before you put into the, any kind of uh, recipes for that. So I'm going to go ahead and pour a half a cup of coconut milk into it. And that's why we call it fish curry because we have coconuts in it. And all the ingredients that's in it is also make it for, for the curry. Let me put it over here. So I'm going to go ahead and mix this for now. Just remember that you have, you need the lemongrass paste or else you cannot do this uh, fish curry at all. And then I will put some fish sauce. It needs fish sauce and sugar to go along with this. So I'm going to go ahead and use um, one or two, maybe I'll use one tablespoon first to make sure that It's not overpowered the curry. So I'm going to start to mix it again. All, all it is about this uh, curry is, is the coconut milk, and that's what's very important, and the lemongrass paste. I'm going to put a little bit more of coconut milk to it. You know, it's, it's more than half a can that I'm using in here. And then we're going to mix it again. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and add, I have to measuring it to make sure that I get it the right accurate thing for you. I'm going to go ahead and use a teaspoon right here and we'll put a little bit more than a teaspoon to it. It needs all kinds of curry. It needs sweet. Um, the Thai curry for this uh, fish mock here, um, 
they use a red curry paste for that. So you have your choice to put, if you don't want to do lemongrass, but you can use red curry paste. But the Cambodian don't do that. The Cambodian, the, the um, uh, fish curry in Cambodian, we definitely have to use fries and cream and that we uh, put it together. And the Thai, they usually use um, red curry paste for that. Or they make their own red curry paste and then you use that. But this is the color of the uh, Cambodian um, fish curry, but the Thai a little bit red because they use the red curry paste for that. And this is how this uh, fish curry should look. It, it looked like that. And uh, the last thing before I put it to steam, I'm going to just go ahead and cut up this uh, broccoli with, because I don't have the right leaf. In, in my country, we have called uh, slug nyo, and in here, I don't have that. So I'm going to go, have, um, go ahead and use that and then chop it up to put along with the, um, the fish. Make sure they're right there. So all you do is just um, take the stem out. You don't need to use that. You only use the green part only. And the stem is pretty tough to steam. So I'm going to go ahead and take them all out right here. You see that? And then you just slide it into small pieces and thin like, thin, thinly slice for that. And then I will go ahead and make with the, with the fish curry right there before I steam it. Okay, now you see that? Then I, I get that and then we put it together. And then I'm going to mix it. And it looks pretty good. It, it's ready to, to steam. Um, I'm going to make sure that it has enough uh, liquid inside it so it won't be too dry. So I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of water to it. About one fourth cup of water into that. And I definitely, I think I need a little bit more of, um, I need a little bit more of fish sauce because I can tell already it, it's not going to be salty enough and maybe a bit more sugar. Does this, this thing eat a little bit more sugar to make it taste good? So I used two tablespoons of sugar so far. Actually two teaspoons, sorry, not tablespoon, two teaspoons of sugar. Okay, this is gonna be ready to steam. โอเคอ่าบ่าวๆថ្ងៃនេះខ្ញុំធ្វើជាអាមុខត្រីអាមុខត្រីនេះមិនពិបាកធ្វើទេគឺថាងាយស្រួលបំផុតដូចខ្
ok ở lần đến à một trời nhóm cứ thay cho anh hỏi nhóm chụp hơi và hai chia chia đập nhật tí ở tờ trời nên cho anh cứ thay à một nên cứ anh hỏi nấy cứ à một trời ở đại kim phơ nắng cứ thay đào tập về rồi hỏi bóng ôn ai từ tuổi tiền ban chỉ mới bài hay bóng ôn ai đã từ khi đông bị lớn từ kia tới cứ thay là bóng cột cọn hơi cứ thay phụt từ ai ban là bóng cứ thay ai từ tuổi tiền ban hơi chỉ mới nâng bài Right now, my fish curry is ready. I only steam two uh, two small bowl right here, and I will keep um, two bowl here for later in the refrigerator or free. You can freeze this also, but make sure you have a plastic container if you want to freeze it in case uh, the ceramic one break. But I uh, freeze it before it. It's okay. It it never break. So I'm gonna go ahead and take it out and place it up for you, and see how it looks. Here we go. This is our fish curry here. And this too, I'm going to go ahead and keep it for later on. I can freeze it um, and just uh, wrap it good and then um, put in a Ziploc or so. And then just put the whole thing in it and freeze it up. And then whenever I, re I am ready to use it later on, I can use that. But this is the two uh, uh, fish curry that I steam. And it's ready um, to serve any time with rice. And often uh, the Cambodian and the Thai people, they serve uh, fish curry here with uh, crispy vegetable like... Uh, long bean and cucumbers, um, cabbage, anything that a uh, uh, young vegetable and little eggplant, Thai eggplant there. And then you can use that and serve with this uh, fish curry. And it's very easy and simple, you know. You have everything and you mix it together, put it in a bowl and steam it. In Thai and Cambodian, they do make a banana leaf, but I, you know, don't want to go through all of that. So I'm just putting ceramic bowl and steam it at the proper way to do this is to do it with a banana leaf and that's what we do it in a country and then we serve it to people in a coconut they cut a young coconut take the meat out and then they put the fish curries in it after they done steaming it they put inside it okay um to make it look pretty uh, if you like a coconut milk when it's ready like that you just um, drizzle a little bit more of a uh, coconut cream on top of it you know to make it look beautiful there and you know some people like more coconut and then you can you know if you don't like more coconut you don't have to do this but because I do this for a video so I'm going to just show you how um, to do the proper way of uh, a fish curry for that okay there you go enjoy it my fish mock mock um, and Thai also the, the fish curry there so enjoy and see you the next video bye bye